Hey, it's Brittany from TheFrugalFreeGal.com, and a few weeks ago I came on to share with you how you can get clothes for free. I'm going to leave that link below so that you can check it out, but basically one of the ways that I am getting clothes for free this year is through the use of swaps. Swaps are basically a lot of people coming together to bring their gently used clothing so that other people can swap it out for things that they need. So they take things that they don't need, they bring it to the swap, and then they take the things that they end up needing. So I have attended a couple of swaps since November, and this is how I'm getting our family's clothing for free. The reason why I'm getting clothing for free this year is because we are trying to pay off our very last debt. It's a rental house debt. We have a rental house in North Carolina. It was our second military move over there. We bought a house, and now we have it as a rental property, and we just want to pay it off and be done and completely debt-free. We've been following the Dave Ramsey steps, and his steps have been wonderful, and we've been very, what he would say, gazelle intense on paying off this debt. So for me as a mom, I have to be creative on how I can find ways to save money for our family so that we can aggressively pay off this last debt. And one of those ways is through getting clothing for free. We have three kids, nine, six, and 18 months. And then you have me and my husband that we have to dress regularly. Now, the cost of clothes adds up. Oh, my gosh, y'all, the cost of clothes. You've got for your kids, you've got your tops, you've got your short sleeve, your long sleeve, you've got your pants, your shorts, your leggings, your pantyhose, your dresses for church, your school clothes, your shoes, socks, underwear, pajamas, jackets, coats, scarves, hats, gloves, you name it. All that adds up. And then again, you have to dress yourself. <laughs> so moms, you know how much it is when you go and try to buy a few nice clothes for yourself. It ends up being a lot of money. And then dads too. Same thing for dads. So for this last swap, I was able to find a little bit of something for everybody. My husband's clothes aren't in here that I found because I've already washed them and he's been wearing them. But I found him a few pants um, that he really likes and he's been wearing them so yay when I find clothes I do look for clothes that are in very good condition and I look for clothes that are free of holes and stains and um, rips and tears so I am very picky at the clothes that I take I don't just go and take anything I do look them over I inspect them to see what they are so this is just one stack of clothing that I found it's a kind of a variety of things for my daughter this is a shirt she can wear for um, Halloween and then um, here's a little jacket for her it's like a lightweight jacket so she can um, wear this on days when it's not too cold this was an actual blanket that I found for my toddler son and then I found a couple of other cool things I'm gonna just quickly go through some of it these were some pajama pants and I found a, it's kind of like a little set and this is for my nine-year-old and then the rest of these are for my son these are just pants. When I do go to swaps, I look for clothes that they can grow into. I look for their current size and then clothes they can grow into. So a lot of these are clothes that he's going to be in really soon. So I do plan ahead. I think about all the things that I'm going to need before I go in there. And then I go in there and that's what I look for. Now, my daughter, my oldest daughter, she went from loving long sleeve shirts to hating long sleeve shirts. So mom on a mission, I thought, okay, well, she's not wearing these long sleeve shirts. That means I'm going to have to find her some short sleeve shirts. Uh, long sleeve shirts were too uncomfortable for her. So I went and I found some short sleeve shirts that she can wear, um, especially now that the weather is getting a little bit warmer up here in the Pacific Northwest. And I also found, here's another stack of kind of miscellaneous for each kid. This shirt was kind of cute. Um... It's a Target shirt from Target, the Target brand. It says, I've got a crush on you, but I thought this little extra flower here was really pretty. All right, and then there's a couple of leggings in here. Here's a shirt for my son. It's a Carter, it's a Circo shirt. So it's a Target brand shirt. Little guy, big game. And then let's see, here's another cute little top that I got for her. Cause she loves dogs. Free to be me. So she loves um, dog prints right now. Okay, so then on this side I have this pretty scarf. So look how cute that is. Look at the colors. It's for a child. But um, the colors are real pretty. It's a Carter's scarf. This will go in our coat closet. 
Again, all of these clothes were free. These were clothes that people um, brought. These are leggings for me. People brought them because they no longer need them, and so you can take what you need. These are more clothes for my son. Um, these are just like t-shirts and things that he can wear when he gets ready. Um, this was a cute pajama set for him. And this was a, I think, Cuddle Duds brand, which is a popular brand. So he needed pajamas. So pajamas are another huge expense if you have three kids. Another pair of snow pants that he can grow into next year, along with a pair of snow boots for next year. This will be his size for next year. So I found those. And I'm still going. I found a swimsuit. Now, if you're hesitant on shopping at Swaps because you're not really a big fan of wearing other people's clothes, that's okay. It's not for everybody. Um, I don't have a problem with it, so I'm going to keep doing it for a long time, and I encourage you to try it and see. Um, these are some troll pajamas for my daughter. This is for my six-year-old, but they're very cute. I kind of compare it to like, people wearing other people's clothes. I kind of compare it to, you know, if you go to a hotel... You know, you sleep in beds where the sheets have been used by other people. They just wash them and bleach them really well. Same thing with the clothes. Just wash them really well. Hot water. Wash them a couple of times if you feel more comfortable. And uh, this is a shirt for my six-year-old. This is a Carter's. Wash the clothes and then put them away and use them for when you need them. And like I said, wash them in hot water and they're, they're fine. So here's some more for my son. These he's mostly going to grow into next year. Here's a jacket. We always need jackets up here in the Pacific Northwest. So it's a, um, this is a Granimals Walmart brand. And I'm getting down to the bottom, but these four shirts are spring shirts for him. So this is the one I thought maybe he could wear this Easter. Look how cute that is. It's green, pastel greens and blues and yellows. And these are the shirts that he's going to grow into this, he could also wear this one for Easter. I'm not sure which one we're going to put him in yet. Here's a cute church shirt for him. So I already had those hanging up. All right, and then I have a two pairs of gloves. Let's see if I can find the other one. I lost it. Here's a, one of the pairs of gloves. These are like the texting gloves. And found two pairs of toddler socks. My toddler's always losing his socks, so I found two of those. They're gently used. I don't know where that other pair of gloves went, so I'm just going to not show those. This is for my six-year-old. These are for her to grow into. She tried them on, and they're already a little um, loose on her, so my goal was to keep them for next year when we go up and do some sledding and um, uh, skiing over here to the east of us in Washington. There goes some more camera shake. I told you I do that in every video. Reef flip-flops. This is my favorite brand of flip-flops. I have been wearing Reef flip-flops for years, like 10 years, and I invest in like a very nice pair of flip-flops, and they last me forever. Um, I had a pair of Reefs last for, oh my gosh, like eight years, and I still wore them all the time, and I loved them. So here's some Reef flip-flops that I found for myself, and then I found this sheet set for my nine-year-old because it matches her bedroom set. And it's a purple, brand new in the bag still. It's a, um, look at that, purple sheets. So, pretty cool, huh? Let me see if I can't find, ah, I lost them. That's okay. All right, so that was my last clothing swap haul. I found a lot. I, it was basically a basket full of clothes, like a laundry basket full. And they're not going to have one next month, but they're going to have one in April. And that's okay because I'm really kind of caught up on clothing for right now. I don't really feel like I need a bunch um, right now. But these are, like I said, these are polo pants for my son to grow into. Uh, there are so many great things you can find at clothing swaps. Grab you a few friends. Um, you can be as large as you want it to be. Plan a date that you want to have it. Set it for a few hours. Set the location, you're going to need a little bit of space for it, and then call everybody together and say, all right, let's dump our stuff out or let's organize it ahead of time, whatever you feel like you'd like to do. 
And then um, let's switch and swap our clothes out. And like I said, you can get all your clothes for free by doing that. And that's what I plan on doing in 2018 as a way to aggressively pay off our final debt. And I hope that it encourages you maybe to look into swaps in your area and maybe start your own. So I think, thank you for watching this. If you liked this video, please like the button here below, whichever side it's on. And then subscribe to the channel so that you can see more videos like this. And I will post them as I swap. So thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.